Hi guys, welcome to Masao Vehicle Operations. Today we'll be learning about the low boy trailer. Senior and Herman will be demonstrating how to properly disconnect and reconnect the neck. So the first step that to disconnect the neck, you need to raise the the bed until you can unlock the locking mechanism that lowers the bed all the way down. So once you get that unlocked, you can lower it all the way down to the ground and you will disconnect the locking pin that connects the bed to the neck. So right here he's going to flip the switch and the locking pin did not come out so now he's going to raise and lower the neck or the bed until the pin comes out. Alright, once you get the pin out, now you can disconnect your air hoses and your electrical line. Once those are disconnected, now you can lower your platform and that's what will support the neck on the tractor. And you just want to lower this down to where it's just touching the tractor. Alright, now it's lowered. He's going to pull forward about a foot. Alright, now he's going to jump out, raise the neck with the platform about a couple inches off the bed of the, the trailer. So right about there. That's just to ensure that the neck doesn't fall on the ground after you take off with it. So now he's going to jump up, pull the tractor forward, and you'll, you'll be able to load whatever you have that needs to be loaded on the trailer. And you chain it down and strap it, and then you'll reconnect the neck after. So you want to take off real slow and make sure you don't move uh, left or right too quickly because that neck could shift and possibly damage the platform. So now he's going to back up until he's over the bed with the neck. So right about there, now he'll jump out and he'll lower the neck onto the bed and he'll raise that platform all the way up. Alright, now the platform's all the way up, he's going to back all the way into the bed and reconnect the neck using the locking pin. So when you're backing into the bed with the neck attached, you want to go as straight as possible and as square as possible because if you're at an angle, it won't lock, the bed lock won't lock properly and you'll have to t remove the neck and try to get it square. So now he's backed all the way into it. He's going to hop out, lock the bed lock, and then he can put the air hoses on or I'll probably do the air hoses first.
So the reason he does the air hoses first is because the bedlock is pneumatic and it's ran by air from the trailer brakes. And if there's no air pressure, the, the lock won't work properly or won't work at all. All right, it's got the air hoses on. I was gonna lock the bed lock. And as you see, it went in properly the first time. Usually that doesn't happen. You'll have to move the neck up and down. So once you get the air hoses attached and the bed locked, now you can raise the trailer all the way up and lock it using the, the top lock that prevents it from lowering. raising a little bit more so you get the space and once you get it all the way in you can lower it down again and all the weight will rest on there so once you get that you're good to go